I done had the craziest 48 hours ever. So, my crazy self get off work Saturday morning, go to home, take my baths, go to school, take this darn exam, made like a 45 on the exam. I left the exam, went to go pay my freaking car note. And after I paid my car note, I went to the freaking airport. Man, I met this one dude. Oh my goodness, we was just um, the bartender. He was a um, crap. He was into um, these legal legal marijuana, CBD or something. And we just got the vibe and started talking about sports. It's down there, eleven o'clock. All right, eleven o'clock. All right. So all of a sudden, my flight leaves at like three something. So I swear it's about. One, and I said, you know what? Let me go over and take me a quick look nap. Man, that was the stupidest nap ever. Stupidest nap ever. I turned my phone off. Okay, phone off. Because guess what? I left my phone charger at the crib. All right. So I do that. I get done doing that. I turn my phone off. Turn my iPod off and just lay down, Bruh, I woke up. It was about. 4.15. Now, my flight leave at 3.20. I woke up at 4.15. And I was like, man, are you serious? So, I had to give me another flight. So, I got to Vegas like two hours later than I planned on it. But it was all good. You know, got there, had fun. But then, I'm looking at my flight information. I'm like, man, they ain't sent me the little email to check in. And I'm like, man, I'm going to have a bad seat because I can't check in. And... I go to the airport to check in. They're going to tell me, your flight don't leave till Monday. You can't check in yet. I said, what? I said, my life, my flight leaves today. I, I, You know, I get in Austin 1 o'clock Monday. They said, nah, man, you, you leave Austin. You get to Austin Tuesday morning. I said, oh, my goodness. So what can I do? They was like, well, um, you can stand by at another flight. So I had to buy me another ticket and do a standby. And this, I was the last person. It was full. So my next option was fly to San Antonio. And I was like, man, I can fly to San Antonio. But, man, it ain't even worth flying to San Antonio. And after I come to a conclusion, I just need to stay in Vegas until the morning. So I stayed in Vegas. I booked me a flight for 6 and no, 5 in the morning. Went to my boy King house. I think me and King talked for about five minutes and we were asleep. I slept good. But then I get here and it's like 10 something. So I'm technically late for class, which I don't think it makes sense to go. But yesterday I had to call in to work because I was in a different city because I didn't use good time management. So really good learning experience the last 40 hours i've come to realize i have terrible organization skills terrible 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 i don't sleep enough and it's i have to make some major changes to get my life somewhat structured and more manageable because this job right now is terrible so that's my goal for the next 25 hours is to coordinate a plan that's going to help me be more structurally sound when I'm doing my things. Because I do a lot, and I can actually do everything. It's just not structured. So that's what's about to go down on my end. New man, new me. That's the purpose of me going on these little mini vacations. They help me get my mind right, you know. And, you know, about to have this chit-chat powwow with my homeboy, Chip. Me and Chip finna elaborate. We about to have us a good little chit chat. Cause me and me and Chip ain't talked about a month. I mean about a week. So yeah. So yeah, we definitely gotta um take these moments to evaluate where you at and where you trying to go. Oh yes, I forgot about one more thing I wanted to say was crazy. My freaking truck. The battery died in my truck. I don't know if I left the lights on or what, or I didn't turn the car off. But, man, I tried to drive my truck the other night, 
No, not the other night. Yeah, the other night before I went to work on Friday, dead. So now I got to go get a jump to get that taken care of. Then I need to get my brakes looked at. So I'm actually going to take care of all this really soon. So that's what I got going on in my end. So I definitely, um, I definitely want to cut down on some of the activities I'm doing. I got to take a step back on this business adventure because if, if I got to get a little bit more focused on accomplishing my professional checkpoint goals. I got another two months to definitely uh, get closer. Now, I may not pass my test in two months, but I definitely want to get closer to taking it because I sent my social work licensing thing in. And then I also sent them my teaching stuff. So they 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 hit me up on my teaching so I can just take my exam. So I'm definitely finna gotta focus on that if I can get to these the next steps. Cause I come to notice you taking too many steps, but you not moving forward, it, it defeats the purpose, you know. Your Fitbit Your Fitbit can tell you, hey, this is where I'm at. But if you ain't went nowhere, you just taking steps for no reason. It's really critical. It's really critical to set your goals and work your way to achieving them. Because it's a feast of purpose if you're not going to create goals. Cause you, if you're not creating goals, you're not really creating a sense of direction in your movement. Because you're always going to be moving, you know. You don't want to move in the same place. Because that's that really defeats the whole purpose of being someone who's proud and secure of yourself you know you gotta really gotta think of greater ways to do these things and help build yourself up but all right peace out holla